What is up everybody? So today we're going to be trying to fit those injectors that I decapped uh, into this fuel rail. So it might be a little bit too much light right now, but uh, if you look, these are my uh, injector plugs, which I've already removed the safety clips from them. Uh, they're like these little metal rings that you have to remove. And once you do that, they pop right off. I'll show you guys what those rings look like so that you know how to take them off. But they just look like this. And what you do is just take a pick and pry this thing off. Try not to bend it if you're going to be reusing them. But I'm not. I have my own plugs for my GM LS injectors. So I have these. Uh, and these are going to plug into these injectors that I decapped. So I'm going to uh, take the fuel rail off and I want to check the fitment of the injectors and see what I have to do to make them fit. I already went ahead and pulled off the 12 millimeter that was right here and there's a washer with it that you don't want to lose. But this is actually the fuel rail test port. So that's pretty cool. Um, I want to test the fuel rail pressure. I might do it after I install the injectors because it doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So I was able to uh, drain the pressure there actually wasn't any pressure because it's been sitting overnight but yeah if you had just driven the car there'd be pressure in this rail right here so you'd want to make sure you don't spray yourself in the eyeball but yeah so i'm going to go ahead and pull all of these injector clips off right here and fish this harness out through the back just to get it out of my way and after i do that i'm going to go ahead and loosen these three tens that are on top of the fuel rail and I will go ahead and get this thing um, off and then we can go ahead and check how everything fits. Okay, so I also uh, took off this uh, banjo bolt right here. So there's two washers, one on this side and one on the other side and a 17 millimeter knot on here and then your uh, feed hose comes off and then I took the return off as well there's a squeeze clamp and this rubber hose will just push off it'll be tough if it's your first time took these two vacuum lines off and the one that goes to the fuel pressure regulator or actually no I'm sorry the EGR the fuel pressure regulator hose can stay on because that's going to stay on the rail and then uh, these three tens I'm going to loosen and this rail should just pop right off and then we should be able to uh, mess with it on the bench Okay, so you can see that I have the rail out, and you might notice that all these little black things are stuck in mine. These are actually the factory uh, injector o-rings. This one's being a pain, but yeah, I'm going to pry these out with a pick. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those. I don't think so. I think that these new injectors are going to seal further down than these, so I'm going to go ahead and pull all these out. Uh, it, the thing did shoot fuel everywhere. You probably saw me reach for the rag. Uh, just trying not to get fuel on my nice paint job. But yeah, here's everything out. Um, and these injectors will just kind of pop out of the rail. Like, just like so. And uh, that's what these stock injectors look like. So we got to look at this. Compared to this, we definitely uh, might have some work to do here. Um, I don't know. They may seal in a similar spot, and they may not. We're definitely going to have to put some different O-rings on this, because that's not going to fit as is right now. So we'll see what we have to do. We'll make it work. All right, so I'm, I think I'm getting somewhere here. Uh, so here's the old injector out, and there's like this little screen uh, on top. But in this injector, the screen's actually inside here, so you probably can't see in there. But there's a little screen in there, and it may or may not be all clogged up. I'm going to look up whether or not I can take it off and clean it, but I'm not really sure. Um, I don't think so. On the Hondas, it looks like it is a, a screen. I don't know if it's a part you can purchase or what, but 
Yeah, so this piece right here is slightly wider than the stock injector, so it doesn't quite fit up into the rail. And rather than drill out the rail, I think I could just grind this a little bit. If I, uh, you know, do the same thing over here, I'll probably take it on the bench grinder because I'll feel a little bit safer. But just barely take it down. I might stick something in the end so I don't get any shavings in there. Uh, just barely take it down. And uh, then I think if I use smaller O-rings, something more along the lines of this size, uh, I should be able to make this fit good in here. And that will be all set up there. And as far as down here, by throwing one of these stock O-rings on, it looks like it does seal in the intake, but just a little bit further down. So based on, based on this mounting height right here, and the fact that it mounts further down into the intake, I'm definitely going to need to shorten the height of the fuel rail. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to measure it. I think my best way to measure it will be to just put it in place and then use a micrometer. But you can see those posts right there, those three posts. I believe those unscrew from the intake. So whatever I need to get rid of as far as material, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut those and then re-weld them. I believe it's steel, so I'll cut it, re-weld it, and then hopefully that'll be uh, that'll give me the tightness that I need in order to squeeze these injectors in there so that they seal. So that's the plan. Um, shouldn't be too hard. Next time I go to the junkyard, I'm gonna get three uh, stock ones that I'll have lying around for when I have to put these stock injectors in to go through emissions and everything. But yeah, I think this should work. Um, can't see why it wouldn't work. And these are gonna mount really down low in the intake and they should shoot right into the valves. So that should be pretty cool. I hope these guys flow really good, and I hope none of them are clogged. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can grind this guy, throw some smaller O-rings on it, and fit it up into that rail. All right guys, so I did grind the top down. I think I just used the grinder on this one and then a little bit of belt sander to smooth it out, and then on the next one I just used the belt sander. Um, no need for a grinder, it's pretty thin material. But what I have here is one smaller O-ring on the bottom, and then the factory Honda O-ring that came off of the top of the injector right here. So I did like a two O-ring there to space that top one up to make sure it gets in there as far as possible because you can see the top hats on these Honda ones are quite a bit taller, so they stick up quite, uh, quite further. So I'm gonna have to check for leaks, make sure this doesn't leak. Uh, might also get my hands on some bigger O-rings because I think this one could be just a little bit bigger because the factory Honda one's gonna be a little bit worn out. And then on the bottom here, this is the only place I can get it to seal. You can see there's an O-ring right here, this black one right there. Um, so yeah, that's just a size out of my kit right here. It's this particular one out of this kit, um, R07. And that one on the bottom fits pretty good. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the car. So I've got the fuel rail is uh, remounted. I left this injector and that injector on the ends all the way uh, Honda one still so that it spaces it from the factory uh, spacing and I have the bolts tightened down and you can see there's my injector uh, it actually does stick in pretty far so we've got quite a gap here in between our fuel rail and where it's actually supposed to seal whereas the Honda ones are all sealed up so based on that what I'm gonna have to do is measure the distance there and then that is the amount of distance or measurement that I'm gonna cut off of this uh, pipe here or if I unthread it, maybe I can actually find a bolt that'll be the right length for that or something um, That might be cool if I could just delete those entirely and then put some kind of bolt down into the intake uh, So we'll have to see what that looks like as far as threads or if it's a nut, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and Measure that gap and then pull the fuel rail back off and see what kind of mods we can do to make this work so my number is 17.3 millimeters, and that is the amount that I want to take off of these posts right here. So uh, that's the plan here, and then the fuel rail should sit at the height of this. I hope that we don't interfere with anything like the EGR plate back there. Um, my hope is that we don't hit it. Uh, if we have to unbolt some of this return line here and, I don't know, mess around with it, I guess we'll have to but hopefully we don't um yeah we're just gonna see how it goes hopefully i don't uh immobilize the car but <laughs> sometimes you gotta take a chance so we'll see maybe i'll uh, try to fit it at the right height 
without the studs in there and then we'll see how that's going to work um, but yeah so I'm going to go ahead and pull the fuel rail back off see if I can get those studs out and uh, start hacking them up so just to verify that everything is going to work which I do think it will uh, I don't know if you can see the return line the 90 that's like right here it's hitting on one of the bolts on the EGR plate um, but I don't think that it's going to mess me up because uh, it looks like it's pretty level on the back of the injector on the top hat so I think we're going to be okay with that but I guess we'll just have to wait and see but another way that I can check here is by measuring from uh, this let's see if you can see uh, from right here this point where these stud mounts up to the bottom of the uh, fuel rail right here and that distance right there I can verify with my studs that I'm gonna make so I already marked one of them that I'm going to cut and I have the tape right here and from this bottom edge to here is 17.3 millimeters so if I cut it on this tape edge towards uh, towards the inside here, like cut in the tape, and then I cut right on the edge. Uh, I'll probably do this one first, and then I'll weld this to that, and we should be at least close. And this doesn't have to be exact, but we just want to hold pressure on the injectors, so it shouldn't be too crazy, but hopefully I can be precise enough. Alright guys, so it's looking pretty good. Um, I got that piece all welded up as you probably saw in the last clip. And I went ahead and threw two injectors in there and just the middle one. I didn't do all of them just so that I wouldn't completely disable the vehicle. I could just use two to get by to uh, be able to drive the car. But it looks like this is going to work. So I just have to do the other two. And then I should be able to uh, fully mount the injectors in here. So yeah it looks like it worked really good it's tightening down and it's got a little bit of clamping force too on the rail because i went a little bit shorter than the actual overall dimension so yeah this is really awesome it's working out really good so far i think we're gonna i think we're gonna be all set all right so it is uh, maybe one or two days later since i was filming the last of it but i have all three of my studs um, shortened down and welded and I threw some primer on them because they were bare metal so they wouldn't rust. You're not really going to see them since the fuel rail tucks so low now which is really nice. I uh, have all my injectors all set up. I got this o-ring on the bottom which seals right here and I've got the little o-ring right there that's for my kit and then the factory Honda o-ring on top. Sorry about that. Speaker that probably didn't sound very good. Yeah, so I got all these injectors set up here. Uh, I got this O-ring out of my kit that seals down here, uh, which I would imagine is not as important since the sprayer's here. We shouldn't get much here, but we do want a sealed system because you could have a vacuum leak here, uh, you know, in your intake. But up here, I have the factory Honda seal up top, so that should seal in the fuel rail just like factory. And then I have a smaller seal just to push that one up to the top because the top hat's not quite as long as the Honda injector. But we should be good to go with this new fuel rail and these shortened uh, guys here so yeah I'm ready to go ahead and try to throw this thing in there I'm gonna throw the three studs in there and then we should uh, be all set so you can see all my injectors uh, one two three four they're all in place and my rail is bolted down uh, it looks like I made this one stud kind of higher than the other ones unfortunately I tried to cut them all the same but it looks like it, they vary like this one has a gap this one has like a little gap and that one has no gap. So this one is the longest and this injector down here does spin very freely, 
which might be a problem, might not be a problem. Um, probably not the best, but I mean, I'm just going to leak check it. And if it leaks, I'll fix it. But if it doesn't leak and we don't have a crazy vacuum leak or anything like that, I plan to smoke test it at some point. But uh, yeah, eh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try to hook everything up. I already got my feet on, the returns on, I just got to put the clamp on. I threw on the plug for the uh, access port. This hose is like too short to reach now, so I'm gonna have to get a longer vacuum line since the fuel rail height is different, but might be good for now. And let's see, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope this thing is going to seal. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pressurize the pump at, right after I get it wired actually. So let me go ahead and figure out the wiring situation first. I'm gonna chop off all these factory connectors right here and uh, we'll figure out how we gotta wire this thing. All right, so uh, I don't need to do anything else to check if this thing has any leaks. I don't actually need to hook up the injector. Uh, so we're just gonna see if it leaks. You guys will watch and let me know. Hopefully it doesn't leak. Um, I don't see any fuel anywhere. It doesn't appear that we've leaked. All right, so I did check for leaks once again after that little video clip and there were no leaks. I had somebody help me out and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and start wiring everything up. So on these GM truck injectors, the pink is the constant 12 volt source and the other wire that goes along with the pink is the pulse wire. So this one gets constant power and this one wants the pulse. And on the Honda, uh, all of these red and black wires, uh, each of the injectors has its own red and black wire. And I probed one of them and the red and black wire seems to give power when the key is on. So that means it's at constant power. And the other wire that goes along with it, in this case the brown one, is going to be our pulse wire. So that's how I'm going to wire these injectors. And, you know, they should work. So. Uh, I'm waiting for my soldering iron to heat up right now and I'm going to throw some solder heat shrink and I'm going to go ahead and do all of them and then we're going to have to just figure out this tune thing and uh, then we should be up and running. So I got everything just about all set. I didn't do the heat shrink wrap yet just in case something is wrong but I'm sure everything's going to be just fine. Uh, all I'm waiting on now is to figure out what I'm going to do with the tune so I'm going to go ahead and try to figure that out but I think I'll put that in a separate video because this one's probably getting pretty long. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the injector decap, uh, the previous video, and then this video, which was, you know, getting the injectors to fit in the car. Um, it was a little bit of work, but not too bad. Uh, this, I think, will work for most Hondas. I think maybe some, there might be difficulty because there's certain things in the way. Um, but on mine, really easy. Just shorten the uh, studs there, and they seem to fit the GM injectors really well. And if you look, I really like how it's kind of like a fuel rail tuck in a way. It sort of makes it much lower and uh, you can't really see the fuel rail as much from the front. So I think it's pretty sweet overall and uh, hopefully uh, you guys learned something and maybe you want to try it yourself. As always, let me know if you have any questions in the comments or anything like that. But yeah, thanks guys. Peace.